Howdy folks, welcome back to Shallow Pocket Takers. Today's July 2nd, I come back up. I did cut that log up before I left over there last night. And then I cleared out more here. And I left a little patch down there that... I thought there was something wrong with my string going around that tree and here the one end was broken. I come up and took a little break and then did a little more weed eating out around. And we got pretty much done back in behind the picnic table there and then the rest of it I'll get after later on. I probably will end up buying some buckwheat seed and throwing it out. And it would be better to have the green stuff laying on top of it. Help hold the moisture and all. And I kind of think I'm done for the day up here. I think I'm just going to head down out of here today and maybe see something on the way out. You know, I think that one log will be enough. I didn't cut up the other one. Uh, that one's still laying over there. And I have seen on my latest video I checked was was a driveway cam. So I've got at least three different ground hogs hanging out down there around that big oak tree. So I kind of wanted to get cleared out around it more and I don't want to get rid of them, but haven't seen them out any time I've been up here as of yet, so. And I don't know where they are actually living at, whether they might be living in my brush pile down there or not. Decided to take a look at these trees from Blue Hill Nursery. And this one here, this is the fourth year on these trees. And we got flowers on the chestnuts we got from Blue Hill Wildlife Nursery. And that one over this one here is several on it too. Not as many as that last one, but That one there, I'm not seeing any flowers on it. But this one back here, I'm seeing a few flowers on it this year too. And I've got a pokeweed in there about as tall as that tree. And out there on the end of that branch, it appears that there might be flowers going to appear on it yet this year, too. Looks like some type of caterpillar. Been working on the leaves on this one a little bit. I'm gonna walk on back to where I was cutting mountain laurel around the tree stand earlier in the year and take a look and see if any of the things that I had sprayed, whether the spray's taken care of it or not. Another poke weed in this apple tree here. I think this one here is a turning point. I think that's a son of cow. And I forget which way. There's another son of cow and another turning point. But I forget which one's which. I'll turn, turn the camera back on once I get back in the back. If there's anything to show on that. 
here we are at the edge of blueberry patch. And it kind of looks like we must have had a bear come through here. Moved this log, looking for ants. Guess I had to get the cameras back in this area checked here before long. I did spray some back in here. Which I don't know how well the camera's picking up. But there's a chestnut in that cage. And then to the right. And I'm guessing that's a woodcock. There was two of them. I don't know where the other one flew off. They just flew up off the ground right here behind me. Or that one's a mother and the other one was a baby. That one's kind of acting like it's hurt. But as I was saying, I don't know if you can tell the difference in that mountain lower. I sprayed it a little bit and sprayed some right along there. And to the right of that cage, if you can pick it out. That bird come out of back in here somewhere. I don't know if it was just sitting on the ground where there's a nest in there or what. And there was two that flew out of there. And I ain't sure what kind of bird it is. I don't think it is a, what I mentioned at first. Now I'm curious. I gotta look around here a little bit. Because I think I have jumped that same bird in here before. But I don't want to do too much walking around. I'm not seeing any eggs or anything. He's not leaving. But this mountain laurel went through here, I sprayed some of it, and some of it does seem to be a little worse for wear. wear. It's not dying completely, but kind of looks like it may end up dying. <clears throat> and this here, I know I sprayed it. And the tops of it, anyhow, or looks like it's hurting.
on this chestnut in here with this sassy fresh hasn't well it has grown a little bit but it hasn't grown a whole lot but I know I sprayed this mountain oil here till as I was walking around sprayed some of that and then you can see the better looking stuff in behind so If my spray works, I'm going to end up spraying more of it back in here to help get rid of some of it to where we can maybe get some regeneration of some oaks and other trees back in here. Because my original trail that I cut out right through there is getting grown back in. If I see where the spray is going to kill the stuff, I'm going to spray some stuff along my trail that I have cut out. To, which I'm pretty sure I've sprayed those ones when I was back in here cutting. And it don't didn't seem to affect them any. And we got a lot of regrowth on some of the stuff back here that I did spray. I must not have got it good enough. And I need to get up here and Get the rest of that cut out. I haven't been back up since April, I think, working on it. So I need to get it cut out before the end of the summer. Okay, this is, I think it's one of my tie tie chestnuts and that had an oak come up in beside it for those who've been following along. And now it looks like we got a third tree in there, a birch tree. It's just about as high, and I'm not seeing any flowers on this chestnut. But the blueberry bushes are sure loaded this year it looks like. They've got plenty on them. But here's another one of the Thai Thai chestnuts. And it does have flowers on it this year also. But this very well could be the first year for me to see some chestnuts. Now, I, don't, I don't know if any of my northern whitetail crab apples are living back through that way or not. I don't feel like walking through there tonight. And how we ended up with three pine trees in here, I really don't know. Mother Nature must have planted them. But the blueberries, there's several blueberries in here this year, but they're so small that you need a gallon of them to do anything with them. And we have a couple more pines that are popping up in the blueberry patch here. And right in here was the location of one of my northern whitetail crab apple trees that didn't make it. And we do still have 
a couple of sweet crab apples. They're alive, but they ain't, they're not growing very much out through there. Thanks for watching.